August 9th, 1945. The Nagasaki nuclear explosion. August 6th, 1945. The Hiroshima nuclear explosion. Since these World War II attacks, nuclear weapons have become even more powerful. The Hiroshima bomb produced an explosion of 15 kilotons. One kiloton equals the explosive power of a thousand tons of TNT. If it was detonated in New York City's Times Square, this is what it would look like. The radius of the affected area would be almost a mile long. This yellow circle indicates the radius of the explosion's fireball. Within the red circle, fatalities are near 100%, and all concrete structures are damaged or demolished. Within the gray circle, most residential structures are destroyed, and there are massive injuries and fatalities. The orange circle indicates the area in which third-degree radiation burns occur. But the sheer destructive power of that explosion pales in comparison to the largest thermonuclear weapon currently in the United States arsenal, the B-83. Created in the late 1970s, the B-83 can produce an explosion of up to 1,200 kilotons, which is 80 times the Hiroshima explosion. That's the explosive power of 1.2 million tons of TNT. If dropped on New York City, the radius of the affected area would be over seven miles. Then, there's the 1954 Operation Castle Bravo, the largest nuclear bomb ever tested by the United States. It produced a 15,000 kiloton explosion, which is over 1,000 times more powerful than the Hiroshima bomb. If detonated in New York City, the radius of the affected area would be over 21 miles. But there's even one more powerful than that. On October 30th, 1961, the Soviet Union tested the Tsar Bomba. It is the most powerful weapon ever detonated. It produced a 50,000 kiloton explosion. That's 3,300 times more powerful than the Hiroshima bomb. The mushroom cloud was so tall that it dwarfed anything on Earth. If dropped on New York City, the radius of the affected area would be over 31 miles. The Tsar Bomba was created over five decades ago. Today, there are an estimated 14,900 nuclear weapons in the world. If not for the Partial Nuclear Test Ban Treaty of 1963, we might have even more powerful bombs today.